Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen and today I'm going to film a couple of videos for you. I just slapped some makeup on, threw my hair down and just didn't even bother to put in my contacts. I haven't really been in the filming mode lately with the um, death of my father-in-law, but I am slowly trying to get back into filming videos, so please bear with me. Um, the video I'm going to film for you right now is the finale for my Finish 8 by Easter. I'm not even sure I remember filming an intro for this. I know there was a couple of projects that I was going to keep strictly on Instagram, and I'm not sure if this was one of them, but I know that I haven't filmed any updates. I don't even know that for sure, but I don't remember filming any updates for this video. I am pretty sure I took intro video or intro photos for these products. I did not take progress photos along the way, so if I have photos to post, they will just be from the very beginning and show where, you know, where I'm at now. Um, I finished almost all of the products for this project, so I'm really excited about that. My camera battery is going to die, so hopefully it allows me to get through these two short videos that I have to film. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the products that I finished first. I did lose one product, and that was my Makeup Forever 3C Lip Liner. It was just a mini. I had worked on it some. I know I had a little bit of progress um, before I even started the project, but I haven't seen it since the beginning of the project. So um, I'm going to get that out of the way, and then I'm going to go down the list of the things that I finished. I'm not sure that I finished them in this order, but I'm just going to go down my list of products. So the first thing I have is this Benefit Gimme Brow Mini. I really wanted to try this. I was super excited to get this as a 100 point perk at some point, and I used this until I really wasn't getting any more product out to put on my brows anymore. This is in the shade 1, which is the perfect shade for me. I was recently swatching some of the other shades or looking at some of the other shades, and they do have a new one. Um, I think they have 1, 3, and 5 now, and their 3 is their new one. It's a little bit darker, still pretty cool toned, and um, looks like it could work for me, but this was just perfect. Um, there are several other brands that put out a product like this that I would like to try before I get the Gimme Brow again. Plus I have several other brow products that I need to finish, but I was really pleased with this. Really, really liked it. Um, and definitely like a product like this that has the fibers and things like that in it. So this is finished. Okay, so just as I thought it might, my camera battery did die. Um, and I'm going to pick up right where I left off. And the next product that I have is actually one that I just finished a couple of days ago. So these products definitely aren't in order, but they are in the order in which they're listed on my product list for this project. This is the NARS Orgasm Mini Blush right here. And I did completely finish this. I do have a picture of where I started with this product for this project. And I'm really impressed with being able to finish this up. Now I did have to repress this because it did shatter. So of course you know when you have to repress blushes or any product really, it gets a little more powdery. So this did kick up a lot of product after I had to repress it and probably did accelerate its um, completion a little bit, but I'm still really proud of finishing this product. The next product I have is my Lush Emotional Brilliance Translucent Face Powder and this was a loose pink kind of powder and I would go ahead and apply this on my face over my primer before I would go ahead and put my foundation on. So I was right at the top here when I started this project I believe. Um, if not, it was definitely the second. I hate when I put these products in different projects. I should have marked it with a different color if that was the case, but um, I can't ever remember where I started with products. But either way, uh, it was either like three quarters or um, a half finished before or when I started this project. So this is completed. And the next product that I have that I don't have to measure on my paper is this Sexy Little Things Noir from Victoria's Secret. This I felt like this took me forever to finish up. I believe I was right here at the start of this year. I did have another mini fragrance that I was trying to finish up as well, and I did finish that one too. 
So um, I'm really proud that I was able to finish up two of these minis and get them out. And now I'm working on my full size products. The next product I have is this Urban Decay Plushy Eyeliner. I'm not going to hold this up. I am just going to go ahead and show you that this is where this is at. I did measure this with um, the silver part at the bottom so you could see where my progress lines are. And it is measured right here on this paper. So right here is where I started with the Urban Decay Plushy. And this is where I finished the project. And that includes the silver cap at the bottom there. So that is my Urban Decay plushie. And the next product that I finished is my Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow stick in the color Continuous Almond. And that is the way that looks. I also did measure this with the bottom part on. So that is actually right here is where I started and right here is where I finished so there wasn't a lot of product left in this um, product when I started this but it did take a while to finish I did just use that to kind of cancel out the just fix the color here I did just use that to cancel out any redness or veining on my eyelid and the very last product I have in my possession because I lost the 3C lip liner, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Native. I have been wearing this all over my lip as just my all over um, color. Sorry for this wild ass hair. I literally did nothing but put on a little makeup to get ready for this video. Um, so this is the native lip liner. As you can see, this is nowhere close to a full lip liner. I have definitely used more of this than where I have it marked, so you'll see that. I actually just filmed my 2017 makeup use up update, and that will go up before this video. Um, but you'll see that I've used more since I marked it for that video. So that product is right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up with the bottom of this page. Again, I used the silver part to mark. So as you can see up top there is where I started. The line below that is about um, a week ago or so for my 2017 Makeup Use Up update. And that is where I'm at currently with this product. So I'm very proud of my progress for this project. I surprised myself with how well I was able to do with this project. I think what really works for me, if I feel like I'm not making progress on my products for my projects, is to really kind of pick a couple of products to focus in on and really, really try and use those products like hardcore. I have so many projects going on and so many products that I'm trying to work on that I think that that really helps me to pick a little at a time to focus in on and really try and finish those up. So I finished six out of eight products. I lost one so I wasn't able to even try and make progress on that. So I'm pretty sure that um, really six out of seven products finished is really really awesome for this project also considering i jumped in on this project a little bit late i don't think i started it until a little bit into february so um i appreciate you guys sticking around hanging around uh, i know my video posting schedule has been way like out of normal um but thank you guys for sticking around and i'm gonna slowly get back into this please Check out my Instagram, Kaylee Deckert. Um, I have been, you know, definitely keeping that a little more updated and trying to update my projects there. So um, check that out as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.